Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? So, it's been a very interesting day, and I'm going to talk about symbolism on this video. And really and truly, how everything is symbolism. Now, I've been working a lot with the snake energy a lot. As you can see, I this morning I got and put on my snake necklace. And... I've been dealing with the snake energy a lot lately and it's interesting because as I go to this library, as I went to this library um, about 45 minutes away from my house because I had to go to the doctor's appointment, then I said why not just go to the library so and do paperwork, do what I need to do. So as I got up this morning, I put on this necklace and I always put my intentions into all my necklaces and into all my jewelry. And this morning when I got up, I put the intention into my jury for me to be able to maneuver through things, get through obstacles to today, don't let anything, you know, get in my way, allow me to move through things. And it's interesting because as I got to the um, library and I sat down, got on the computer, started doing work, and I printed some off, as I get up to a counter, the librarian is up there with a snake. She's petting the snake literally a real live snake and I asked her I said oh my god what type of snake is that and she told me it was a bob I done and it was like a real it was like black and with like little speckles of like like um brownish and like grayish on it and I was just very shocked because <laughs> a lot of times you know when when you doing your spiritual work and stuff it's it's always that indoctrinated belief in the back of your mind. In the back, you know, that's old, it's not real or whatever. But that right there, that situation, that taught me to always trust and always work my spirituality. Always understand and always realize that this stuff is real. And just because I don't see things maybe moving fast in the foregrounds, in the background, in other dimensions... And you know, of my the dimensions of my ancestors and my spirit gods and everything, they're the ones in the background doing all the work, they're the ones moving obstacles away from you know my path, they're the ones you know opening up new doors. You know, as I tell people, you're at your energies you work with, you may not see things on ahead of time. Say, for instance, you're trying to get a new job. And you're calling, you're calling, you're calling. You may not understand that a week or two now, you know, you think, oh, they're not calling me. But you're not understand. Maybe, you know, somebody in a week or two is quitting. And when that person quit, then that, that job will now become available for you. So you have to realize that stuff is always going on behind the scenes. And just because you may see something in this dimension, in this scene, in this reality, there's a million things, hundreds of things being moved, being maneuvered, being worked through behind the scenes by your ancestors, your spirit guides, your deities, whatever you work with. And you just have to keep having faith daily in that. And you have to be patient and you have to allow them to do what they have to do. You know, you have to allow them to do what they have to do. Because not only are they helping you, they're also healing themselves. They're helping themselves. They're evolving themselves, you know. And it's a give and take relationship, you know. That's just like, you know, for instance, um, a dog. You know, if you want a dog, and you want that dog to really care, you know, protect you. You have to spend time with that dog. You have to train that dog. You have to build a bond, a connection with that dog, you know. So that's how it is in the spiritual world. You have to be connected to the spirits you are with. And you, you have to always realize that they are always there. They will always be there for you. But as soon as you, a lot of times also as humans... We live so much in the flesh, we don't live by the spirit, and then we get pulled in the flesh, 
And we always have negative thoughts and have negative beliefs and have all these negative emotions and negative ways of thinking because we're now pulled in a lower dimension of reality. We have to always remember that our intuition, our spirit guides, our ancestors is literally a thought away. They are always there. They're literally a thought away. So in times of stress and times of anxiety and times of PTSD and trauma and all these other things we go through, depression, fear, um, being in the matrix, whatever it is, we have to realize that literally they are always a thought away, a feeling away, a sense away, a understanding away. They are always there and they will always forever be there. But we have to always realize that everything is symbolic. From the sun rising and setting, I've talked about this, you know, from the moon's energy as it goes through its phases, you know, as it supposedly wanes away, we have to remove things away from our life, negative things, negative emotions, negative people, as it, you know, waxes, as it, when it, you know, when it waxes, when it goes through the new energies, bring new energies into us, out with the old and with the new. So everything is symbolic. Everything is is connected to source, connected to spirit, connected to, you know, a higher octave of energy always and forever. And we have to realize that we have to have faith, we have to believe, and we have to trust. And we have to diligently have faith in ourselves also and know that whatever we're going through, we are going to make it out of it, we're going to make it over it, and we are going to maneuver through it. So this is Malik Young, also known as Intuitive Ascension. I just wanted to make this quickly real quick to y'all. I love you all. Keep doing what you do. Keep working your magic. Keep evolving. Keep living your best life that's possible. Bye-bye for now. I say namaste.